want you to sleep and relax for three, two, one. That's right. Now I want you to imagine it is a warm and pleasant sunny day. I want you to imagine that you're in a garden and in that garden you're going to notice paths, trees, flowers, a blue sky above you, a sun in the sky and perhaps some birds singing. You're going to notice a bench or a chair in the garden. I want you in your imagination to find that and go and sit down and when you feel that you're sitting down, looking up into that blue sky, I want you just to tap that left hand pointer finger. That's right. Now I want you to see the letter D appear in the sky and fall to the ground and double your depth of trance, then your finger will flicker. I want you to see the letter E appear in the sky and fall to the ground, then you go deeper, that's right, and another E appears and, and the letter P tumbles out of the sky. And now the letter T spins to the ground some distance away. Now the letter R tumbles down, you go deeper. The letter A and you go deeper, that's right. And the letter N, you go deeper. The letter C takes you even deeper. And the letter E crashes to the ground and you continue to let go more and more. And the deeper you go, the better you feel. And the better you feel, the deeper you go. Now in a moment, I'm going to count from one to three. And when I get to three, and only when I get to three, I want you to let your eyes open, then immediately that I click my fingers, I want you to close your eyes and go twice as deep right there, right then, as what you are right here, right now. So at the count of three, allow your eyes to open from one, two, three, eyes open, and sleep. And again, one, two, three, eyes open, sleep. And your eyelids will get heavier and heavier now from one, two, three eyes open sleep and this time it'll be almost impossible to open from one two three eyes open eyes open sleep that's right you're doing absolutely perfectly now you know and i know too because you ask me you have an issue with a fear of your heart not being so effective as it may be or could be if the subconscious mind is aware of what is causing that, that left hand pointer finger will flicker to let me know. That's right, now I would like to ask the subconscious mind if all feel well and is fine with the heart. If the heart is fine and okay, that finger will flick up and down to let me know. That's right, now listen carefully with your subconscious mind and your emotional mind. The heart is a functioning organ that pumps blood. When you are resting, it beats slower. When you exercise and swim, it speeds up naturally, in a perfectly natural way. And you are going to find from now on you are much less sensibly concerned about the condition of your heart. Your diet is good. You do not take cigarettes. You look after your body well. You're going to find now when you wish to swim, your concern will be to safely and sensibly swim to where you wish to, and then swim back from whence you came, or to where you are going. And when you're in the water, you are going to be and remain much more comfortable, knowing as you have in the past that you can swim, and swim you will. Your conscious mind doesn't need to understand any of my suggestions, but your subconscious mind will understand and believe and act accordingly in a safe and beneficial way. And I would like the subconscious mind right now to use its tremendous and immense power and let any useless, obsolete fear of the condition of the heart fade from the emotional mind and the body mind just as a dream will fade soon after you awaken. When that's done, that finger will flicker, you go much deeper into trance. That's right. Now I want you to lift your left arm about six inches off your left leg. That's right. Now stop there and as it drifts down comfortably onto your leg, you're going to go deeper and deeper into trance. 
you're doing perfectly well. As it settles, you settle. It becomes heavier now. That's right, now I want you to lift that arm again off your leg. And as it drifts down again, you go deeper and deeper. You know and I know too, there are deeper levels of relaxation you can easily achieve. As your mind lets go, your arm and body lets go, and now I want you to lift that arm again off your leg. Right, and as it drifts down now, you're going to drift into a five times deeper trance then than what you were there. Now I want you to lift that arm again. And I want you to let it drift down in a way that allows that arm to absolutely relax as you continue to relax. right and this time I want you to lift it but you're going to notice it's incredibly heavy fingers as soon as I do that it's going to fill that left arm with weight so much comfortable pleasant weight that the more you were to try and lift it after I click my fingers the more it will stick to your leg when you know that arm is comfortably stuck down to your leg your left hand pointer finger will flicker to let me know that's right and you'll go deeper and deeper now listen with your subconscious mind what you have learned about hypnosis for your own general good and well-being you are going to remember and have access to sensibly clearly and automatically now you know and i know too there are other issues you have been consciously wanted to deal with like all people so i'd like to suggest that through just this hypnotic experience you're going to make very beneficial inroads into those issues realizing you can communicate with your own subconscious mind and i have given it the kind of suggestion so it will realize when it's appropriate to do what it does and also when it's inappropriate and your conscious mind doesn't need to necessarily understand fully any helpful thing I have said to you because your subconscious mind is going to understand and remember and act accordingly in a safe and beneficial way regardless of where you are and regardless of what is happening around you and when your subconscious mind has got that message has felt that feeling has accepted that help that left hand pointer finger will flicker again to let me know that's right and i'd like to thank the subconscious mind for its help today now i want you to try to lift that left arm again and notice it's simply completely stuck to your leg when you know it won't lift just let that left hand finger flick again that's right now in a moment i'm going to click my fingers and when i click my fingers it will be two signals it will be a signal for your subconscious mind to safely lock in my every safe and beneficial suggestion and what it means and it will be a signal for you to immediately come back to full wonderful clear-headed confidence and consciousness alert and feeling fantastic physically mentally and emotionally and now you can get ready to come back <coughs> Where did you go there? Um, well, went down again. What did your left arm do in the end? 